Hi everyone, welcome to Virtuous Unisys Kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how we cook bitter leaf soup. Okay, today I'm going to start by picking the bitter leaf, blending it because it takes time to get sweet. Bitter leaf is very, very bitter. Okay. So this is how the talif is. I will have it in, at my backyard. So I'm going to pick my bitter leaf like this. I'm going to remove the, the stem. Okay? So this is how I'm going to do my bitter leaf. So let's get started. So guys, so this is my blender. I'm going to pick my bitter leaf like this. Remove the strong stem out of it one by one okay keep it in my blender okay then when they get filled up i will put some water and blend it it's going to take a couple of time to wash guys um i think i have a, a clip where i washed it well i'm going to try to see if we can get it there we can attach it but it takes a long process to get blended and wash over and over. So I'm going to just show you. Um, I have some of it here, guys, which has already been blended and washed. So it's come like this, okay? So we that came from Sierra Leone, we blend our bitter leaf like this. Um, I know that the Nigerians, for them, they... I think they just remove it like this and cook it like this. They wash it like this. But for us from Sierra Leone, we blend our bitter leaf like this. And we cook it with edusi. So guys, as I will continue with this cooking, I want you to follow me and you will learn a lot. Okay guys, so today I'm going to do the washing, finishing this one in the bowl, blend it and we continue. Okay guys. So, that's okay guys, so see how I blended the, the bitter leaf, okay, put some water inside, and I'm going to blend. Okay guys, so this was the blended one I showed you before, and this was the fresh one I just make, okay, so I've washed it over and over several times. To bring out the bitterness so now I'm putting it in my pot okay because it's still bitter a little bit if you cook it like this people will not be able to eat it so I'm gonna put some water and allow it to boil okay when the boil finish I'm going to wash it again maybe several times just to let the bitterness all come out of it, okay? So I'm just going to leave it in this water and to, for it to boil, okay? Yeah, after I boil it, I'm going to wash it again, okay, before I cook it. Hey guys, so this is the bitter leaf. We started cooking the bitter leaf, okay? So in this pot, I have my bitter leaf, my blended onions, and my pepper. So these are the first thing I've already put in the pot, okay? My blended onions, and pepper, and the bitter leaf. Okay, guys? So and my stock from all the meats, okay? So I'm going to allow it to get boiled well. Okay, guys? Okay guys, so this is how it looks like. Okay, boiling. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay guys, so see the fish I'm gonna use. This is Barracuda and kini. Okay, guys. 
I already washed it. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. So these are my egusi ground egusi for the bitter leaf soup. So I have two pack of this ground one, and I have the 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 seed one. This before I use it, I'm gonna wash it before I blend it. So I'm going to use my new blender to blend it now into paste. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to put. I'm just going to put it back into the blender like this because you want it like a paste form. So that's the reason for the blending. Okay. And I'm going to put some water still seal this into my sieve that has the tiny tiny holes before I put it in the cups so I'm going to blend all of this then we we'll continue okay guys okay guys so I already blended the egusi now so I'm going to sieve it the reason why I'm sieving it you might have some um is this skin they call it skin of kanda inside the egusi so we don't want that in our soup so this is the reason for sieving it now okay it's a lot so so that all the chaff will not be inside my soup okay so i'm going to take my time to sieve it like this, okay? Okay guys, so I'm going to continue to sieve it like this until I get everything done, okay? Okay guys, so did you see the reason for sieving this egusi? You see, these are all like chaff, okay? Which is not good to be in your, in your soup, okay? So this is the reason, this is all chaff. Okay, guys, so this is what I'm going to cook, okay? So, we'll be going to the pot soon, okay? Okay, guys, so, see the pot is boiling, so this is my ogiri, okay? This is my homemade ogiri. Okay, fermented sesame seed. It's a lot of soup, so I'm putting all of this, okay? This soup bitter leaf, it's a delicacy in Sierra Leone for the Creoles. Okay, so this is my egg ogiri. Fermented sesame seed. So if you see outside, it's bo everywhere is boiling. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to put the egusi I blended because it's good for the egusi to boil well. You need to cook it well so that when you eat it, it will not cause warning 
stomach, okay? So now I'm going to put my ego. So you'll be wondering where is the meat and everything. My meat is already parboiled. My fish is already parboiled. So I just want the ego now to go in. Okay, guys. So this is the ego Okay. It's a lot. Okay. This is the beauty of the tandem. Okay? Guys, I want to show you something quick. So, if you look back in my garden here, you see something called bologi. This is bologi. This is what I'm going to cook. But I'm going to pick it fresh before I put it in the soup. Okay? That's why I still kept it. It's the bologi I'm going to use. Okay? Okay, guys. Okay guys, so let's take a look at it. See, it's boiling well. It's like this pot will be small. So I'm going to use a bigger pot because I have the meat, I have the fish, I have the vegetable that we go in, just allowing the the egg to boil well. You know the fire a little bit. Okay, guys. So it's doing well. So let's look at the pots, okay? I'm gonna put palm oil, okay? So I just want my egusi to to cook well, so you see it's doing good. It's doing great. Mita leaf soup. Mm -mm. Mita soup. Okay, guys, behind the camera, I did put some salt for taste. Okay, so you see. I have to use a bigger pot because this pot cannot contain all what's supposed to go into this pot. This is Kyoko Pudia Delicacy. Leaf soup. That's the bitter leaf right there. That's the bitter leaf. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So today I'm going to finish my bitter leaf soup. Because I started it yesterday, so I'm going to continue now. So, this is my assorted meat already cooked. Though that's my fish, my smoked fish. And this is my bologi I was showing you in the garden. And this is my palm oil. Okay? So, the main pot is here now. I'm going to put everything inside and give it a low fire going to keep it in a low fire until everything begins to come to a boiling point my only problem is my pot right now I'm thinking okay so this is all okay so I'm going to just put all my meat now cow feet um, cow intestine meat um, cow skin, 
these are all the assorted meats so then i'm going to put my palm oil now okay <coughs> Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So I just want to leave it in this low heat. When it start boiling, then I will know whether my pots can take everything. Then I'm going to put my smoked fish and my water leaf, which is borogi. This one is going to bring out water too, okay? But for now, I don't want to put it because I don't want everything to begin to come up. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to cover it slide and let it come to a boiling point. Okay. Okay, guys, if you look closer, it started boiling okay so i just want to find my way down okay yeah my fish is already halfway cooked so when everything go inside now it will be easy okay guys so i wish i have the other big pots but i'm cooking a lot i cook jute leaf too which we call cream cream I will let her just show you. So to you to just look. And I'm cooking jollof rice and stew too. It's for a big lunch on sale. Okay. That's why I'm cooking all this thing. Okay. Okay, guys, at this point in time, I think I can put my bologi, which is known as water leaf. My hands are clean. Okay, guys. It's going to bring water too. So. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it like this until it starts steaming. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I just put a little bit of salt behind the camera for taste. So now I'm putting my fish. Okay. Hopefully the pot will contain it. This is scooter which is known as barracuda and some kini. Okay, guys. I'm going to allow it to 
come to a proper boiling point okay remember that's why i put my egg goosey early yesterday night so that it's we cook well okay okay guys so this is the crane cray which is known as jute leaf and this is my stew for the jollof rice so it's been a, a big cooking time for me okay so we have some we have lunch on sales today the creole descendants so i'm the one that cooked the jollof rice and the stew and this is the juice list for the fufu and right there with the bitter leaf which i've been videoing okay guys so anywhere you are if you need a cook i will not make it too expensive just call for me call for virtuous Unisys kitchen okay i will be there okay guys so let's go back to the bitter leaf pot and see what is happening there so guys if you see uh, it's everywhere it started boiling now okay which is good and it's like our pots did good for us so no need to cut divide the soup into two the palm oil is good right okay guys I'm going to allow it to cook some more okay guys so we've come to the end of this video now okay guys so I'm just going to leave my pot over this fire like that on the low heat until I'm ready to leave the house okay guys so I thank you for this journey you took with me to cook bitter leaf soup Baku will call them bitters so I thank you all for following me thanks for watching please subscribe like and share as you do may god bless you may god continue to keep you all okay bye